not very if you'd like to be upstanding for the bride In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We've come here to rejoice in the house of the Lord for this celebration, dear brothers and sisters. And now we stand with Diego and Larissa on the day they intend to form a home of their own. For them, this is a moment of unique importance. So let us support them with our affection, with our friendship, and with our prayers as their brothers and sisters. Let's listen, listen attentively to the voice of the Lord who speaks to us today, to the Word of God. Then, with Holy Church, let us humbly pray to God the Father through Christ our Lord for this couple, his servants, that he lovingly accept them, bless them, and make them always one. Let's sing together now our, well, no, we're not allowed to sing. So we have Charlotte and Sheila who, is going to, who are going to lead us in, in our first hymn, and we're just going to listen and uh, pray along with it in silence.
So here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say, you're my God, you're all together worthy, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. Let us pray. O God, who in creating the human race willed that man and wife should be one, join, we pray, in a bond of inseparable love these your servants, who are today to be united in the covenant of marriage, so that as you make their love fruitful, they may become, by your grace, witnesses to charity itself. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. If you'd like to be seated, please. We're now going to listen to some scripture. A reading from the Song of Songs. I hear my beloved, see how he comes, leaping on the mountains, bounding over the hills. My beloved is like a gazelle, like a young stag. See where he stands behind our wall. He looks in at the window. He peers through the lattice. My beloved lifts up his voice. He says to me, Come then, my love, my lovely one, come. My dove, hiding in the clefts of the rock, in the coverts of the cliff, show me your face, let me hear your voice. For your voice is sweet, and your face is beautiful. My beloved is mine, and I am his. Set me like a seal on your heart, like a seal on your arm. For love is strong as death, jealousy relentless as Sheol. The flash of it is a flash of fire, a flame of the Lord himself. Love, no flood can quench, no torrents drown. The word of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the name, praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his host. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, shining stars. Praise him, highest heavens and the waters above the heavens. Praise the name of the Lord. All mountains and hills, all fruit trees and cedars, beasts, wild and tame, reptiles and birds on the wing. Praise the name of the Lord. All earth's kings and peoples, earth's princes and rulers, young men and maidens, all men together with children. Praise the name of the Lord. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he alone is exalted. The splendor of his name reaches beyond heaven and earth. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Audrey. A reading from the first letter of St. John. My dear people, let us love one another, since love comes from God. And everyone who loves is begotten by God 
and knows God. Anyone who fails to love can never have known God because God is love. God's love for us was revealed when God sent into the world his only son so that we could have life through him. This is the love I mean, not our love for God, but God's love for us when he sent his son to be the sacrifice that takes our sins away. My dear people, since God has loved us so much, we too should love one another. No one has ever seen God, but as long as we love one another, God will live in us and his love will be complete in us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If you'd like to stand for the gospel, please. May the Lord be on your heart and on your lips, that you may proclaim his holy gospel worthily and well. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Pharisees approached Jesus and to test him, they said, Is it against the law for a man to divorce his wife on any pretext whatever? He answered, Have you not read that the Creator from the beginning made them male and female, and that he said, this is why a man must leave father and mother and cling to his wife, and the two become one body. They are no longer two, therefore, but one body. So then, what God has united, man must not divide. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If you'd like to be seated, please. I'm going to tell a joke. The last time I told one at a wedding, it went down like a bomb. There was no laughter at all. So maybe that will happen again. My apologies. My apologies if it does. Um, not the same joke that you guys heard last time. Uh, so a couple, a, a married couple, uh, actually a husband, went to the doctors with his wife. And uh, he had the examination. Afterwards, the, the doctor asked, this isn't the same joke that you guys heard last time. No? Good, or fine. Okay. No? It is? No, okay, okay. <laughs> um, so uh, the, the doctor asked to see the wife after the, after the wedding, after, not after the wedding, after the, the inspection. And um, so the husband went to the car and uh, the doctor said to the wife, he says, now, now your, your husband is in very uh, serious trouble. He's, he's, his health is very precarious and um, he could die at any moment. Uh, and so really you have to do, here are some things that you have to do to, to make sure that he, he stays alive. Uh, and, and the big thing is keeping the stress really away from him. So this is, this, is, this, is, this is what you should do. Every morning, get up early and make breakfast and bring it to him in bed every morning. And, and then um, once, once he, he leaves to go to work, you can clean the house and do that sort of stuff. And, but have a nice lunch for him. Uh, just in case he happens to come back from his, um, his work. So just have something nice there for him. Uh, and then you can, you can do the garden. And, um, and then uh, in the evening, cooking him his 
favorite meal. Whatever food he wants to eat, uh, give him that food, okay? Don't argue, don't fight with him. Uh, just do that. And if he wants to watch football, let him watch, fo watch football. If he wants romance, go with it. Uh, and and if, if, so this has got to be the regime for, for, his, for him to recover. Um, so she, she left the office and uh, picked her husband up and they started driving home. And so the husband says, uh, so, so, so what, what did the doctor say? He said, she replied, that you're going to die. <laughs> I, I'm always amused when just watching faces uh, when, when telling that joke to see, see the reactions of the men and the reactions of the women <laughs> to see how they take to take that because often the men are kind of going, mm-hmm, yep, <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> and, and the women, and I saw that, you know, like, what's going on here? You know, that's not the way it's got to be. You know, there's something really wrong with that. Uh, but it, it's, inter it's, it's, interesting because it's interesting because that's, that's the way, you know, maybe a lot of people think that marriage is. It, it's it's um, the guy kind of taking it, taking it easy and the woman doing everything, pouring, or pouring their, 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 their lives out for them, serving them, and doing everything for them. Um, and that's, but that's not actually the, the image that we have and not the image that the church has either. Uh, if both are doing that, if both are, in a sense, trying to outdo each other in serving one another, that would be the image uh, but of course, we can do that without being married. And so the key thing there is, is love because uh, love is, is, is more, uh, and, and marriage is more than two people being good to each other, being nice to each other and serving to each other. And we, the, the scripture that we've heard kind of helps us in that direction as well. So we, we had the, the, the Song of Songs, uh, which is a beautiful, beautiful text, uh, ancient Hebrew poetry. No mention of God in that, in that text at all. I don't think if you listen to it, read, read it through again, zero mention of God. He's not in there at all. And I don't think, I'm not sure if he actually does turn up in the Song of Songs. He may do, but I don't, I'm not sure. But the fact is, it's in Scripture. So for some reason, this text is scriptural, though it doesn't mention God. And the Hebrews maybe perhaps used it. The Jews may, may use it in, the, in their, their own wedding ceremonies. But it tells us something about God. Because we've got this image of the, the, this couple who yearn for each other, who are looking out for each other, who are listening for each other, who, who are peeking through the, 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 great, the, the grills, the gratings, the windows, and looking and listening for the voice of the other. And there's that, that yearning between the two of them as they long to be united. Uh, and it's that image of mutual love and fidelity. My beloved is mine, and I am his. It goes on, there's a text. Set me like a seal upon your heart, like a seal on your arm. And of course, you know, we don't use them these days, but the images of the old-fashioned letters that used to be sealed. Nowadays, we just lick the letter. We don't even lick the letter. We just, there's it, it an automatic seal beforehand but uh, we have now. But in the past, you'd pour the wax, and it was usually the red wax, and you'd have the, the stamp that would have a, 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 a logo of some sort or, or the, the mark of the person who's written the letter, whose letter it is. And so, uh, and that kind of gives, it, it's, this letter belongs to, this is letter is from. Uh, and and so there's, there's, there's that sense of, uh, I belong to this person. The seal, I'm sealed with the mark of ownership. I am, my beloved is mine, and I am his. I no longer belong to myself. You no longer belong to yourself. You are mine, and I am yours. And it speaks to us of the heart of God, believe it or not. It speaks to us of the heart of God. That second reading that they chose is a beautiful reading. We don't often hear it at weddings, but 
It speaks to us of who God is. Who is God? God, he tells us, St. John, is love. Is love. God is love. And that's it. God is love. There's no vengeance, fury. Uh, it's, it's love. That's who God is. And what that text describes of this couple describes God's yearning for us. He is the one who yearns for you who longs for his beloved, and his beloved is you. He seeks out his beloved. He longs to hear the beloved's voice, that the beloved may love back, that the beloved may call back, and as he desires to give his heart, his life to us, he desires us to give himself, ourselves to him. So that as in that text we've heard, my beloved is mine and I am his, that you and I could say the same thing as, as God. So God can say of us, my beloved is mine. You, you are mine and I am yours. And we can respond in the same way. My beloved is mine and I am his. That love is a love which gives completely. That's the love that we are uh, celebrating today, a complete gift of one person to another, that L Diego would lay down his life for Larissa, and Larissa for Diego, and not just the once, I mean, guys first, men first, lay down your life for your bride, uh, but on a daily basis. And we're here, asking God to bless this love, asking God to seal this love, and asking God that this love may grow stronger daily for the rest of their lives. So let's now seal that love together. If you'd like to stand, please. you like to stand, please. Dearly beloved, you've come together into the house of the church so that in the presence of the church's minister and the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with a sacred seal. Christ abundantly blesses this love that binds you. Through a special sacrament, he enriches and strengthens those he has already consecrated by baptism, that, he, that they may be faithful to each other forever and assume all the responsibilities of married life. And so, in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Diego and Larissa, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? I have. I have. Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? I am. I am. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? I am. I am. Since it is your intention to enter in, into the covenant of holy matrimony, Declare your consent before God and his church. Diego Pereira Barbosa. So I messed that up, didn't I? <laughs> Do you freely and willingly take Larissa de Silva here present for your lawful wife according to the laws of God and of Holy Mother Church? I do. Larissa de Silva. Do you take Diego Barbosa here present for your lawful husband? according to the laws of God and of Holy Mother Church. I do. Clarissa and Diego, 
join your right hands. May the Lord, in his kindness, strengthen the consent that you have declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment his blessing within you. What God joins together, let no one put asunder. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. We now have the rings. Bless, O Lord, these rings, which we bless in your name, so that those who wear them may remain entirely faithful to each other, abide in peace and in your will, and live always in mutual charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Larissa, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Diego, receive this ring as a sign of my love, fidelity, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. You may kiss your bride. Dear brothers and sisters, as we call to mind the special gift of grace and charity by which God has been pleased to crown and consecrate the love of our sister Larissa and our brother Diego, let us commend them to the Lord. And the response to each prayer is, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. That these faithful Christians, Larissa and Diego, newly joined in holy matrimony, may always enjoy health and well-being. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. That he will bless their covenant as he chose to sanctify marriage at Cana in Galilee, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. That they may be granted perfect and fruitful love, peace and strength, and that they may bear faithful witness to the name of Christians. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. That the Christian people may grow in virtue day by day, and that all who are burdened by any need may receive the help of grace from above. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. That the grace of the sacrament will be renewed by the Holy Spirit in all married persons here present. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Graciously pour out upon this husband and wife O Lord, the spirit of your love, to make them one heart and one soul, so that nothing whatever may divide those you have joined and no harm come to those you have filled with your blessing. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
If you'd like to be seated, please. We'll have our offertory hymn. So we're now moving to the next part of our celebration where bread and wine are offered. This bread and wine become the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ himself. And so we pray that as uh, Diego and Larissa offer themselves, they too may be transformed. You'd like to stand, please. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, the praise and glory of this world, and our good and good of all the people in the church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the offerings made on the occasion of this sealing of the sacred bond of marriage. And just as your goodness is its origin, may your providence guide its course. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your lift up your hearts. We lift them up. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you have forged a covenant of marriage as a sweet yoke of harmony and an unbreakable bond of peace, so that the chaste and fruitful love of holy matrimony may serve to increase the children you adopt as your own. By the providence and grace, O Lord, you accomplish the wonder of this twofold design that while the birth of children brings beauty to, into the world, their rebirth in baptism gives increase to the church through Christ our Lord. Through him, with the angels and all the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. i 
you'd like to kneel, please. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Hugh, our bishop, and all the clergy. Be mindful also, of Lord, of Diego and Larissa, whom you brought to their wedding day, so that by your grace they may abide in mutual love and in peace. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. If you'd like to stand, please. We're going to pray the Our Father, and then directly following that, we're going to have the nuptial blessing, which Father Emmett is going to give to Diego and Luisa. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, let us say together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray to the Lord for this bride and groom who come to the altar as they begin their married life, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, they may always be bound together by love for one another. Let us pray for them in a moment of silence. Holy Father, who formed man in your own image, male and female, you created them so that as husband and wife, united in body and heart, they might fulfill their calling in the world. O God, who, to reveal the great design you formed in your love, willed that the love of spouses for each other would foreshadow the covenant you graciously made with your people, so that by fulfillment of the sacramental sign, the mystical marriage of Christ and his church might become manifest in the union of husband and wife among your faithful. Graciously stretch out your right hand over these, your servants, Larissa and Diego, we pray, and pour into their hearts the power of the Holy Spirit. Grant, O Lord, that as they enter upon this sacramental union, they may share with one another the gifts of your love, and by being for each other a sign of your presence, become one heart and one mind. May they also sustain, O Lord, by their deeds, the home they are forming and prepare their children to become members of your heavenly household by raising them in the way of the gospel. Graciously crown with your blessings your daughter Larissa, so that by being a good wife and mother, she may bring warmth to her home with a love that is pure, and adorn it with welcoming graciousness. Bestow a heavenly blessing also, O Lord, on Diego, your servant, that he may be a worthy, good, and faithful husband and a provident father. Grant, Holy Father, that desiring to approach your table as a couple joined in marriage in your presence, they may one day have a joy of taking part in your heavenly banquet in heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace by bowing to one another. Lamb of God. If you'd like to kneel, please. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. 
the body of Christ. For the reception of Holy Communion, you're asked, please remain in your pews. And if for any reason you're not able to receive communion, just cross your arms in front of your chest and you will receive a blessing.
Let us pray. By the power of this sacrifice, O Lord, accompany with your favour with your favour what in your providence you have instituted, so as to make of one heart in love those you've already joined in this holy union and replenished with the one bread and the one chalice through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, bow for the blessing. May God, the all-powerful Father, grant you his joy and bless you in your children. Amen. Amen. May the only begotten Son of God stand by you with compassion in good times and in bad. Amen. Amen. May the Holy Spirit of God always pour forth his love into your hearts. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Diego and Larissa Barbosa. We're now going to have our final hymn before the before they come out. So if you just want to come down. So a final hymn before the procession. I don't know. No, there isn't. That's it.
we're going to have some photographs. Matthew, I'm sure you'll direct us all. 